Hey guys, so before we start today's review, I just want to briefly mention once again that suggestions are still open for 25 Days of Suggestions 2020. There's a link in the description to a video on my second channel where you can find out how to suggest a car with the chance for me to review it this month, uh, and you can leave your suggestions in the comments. I'd greatly appreciate getting some more suggestions over there, so if you haven't suggested a car yet and would like to, make sure to do so in the comments of that video. Link in the description. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's start the review. Talk about good timing. I picked this McQueen up on Friday, November 27th, and I'm so glad I was able to get him before December 1st for the start of my new Cars Adventure season. Every year in December, I do a whole holiday-themed season of Cars Adventures, and since 2017, I've been using the only holiday McQueen I had, which was the Snowplow variant. I absolutely love this McQueen. It's probably in my top five McQueen variants, heck, maybe even like the top three. Absolutely love this McQueen, but I didn't really at first, and when I first got him, I was upset that I had gotten him and not the holiday Hotshot McQueen. I got him in 2017 uh, alongside the other Christmas cars released that year, and I at the time preferred that they had released the holiday Hotshot variant. Now looking back, I'm glad that I got this guy first because Honestly, I do prefer him to the Holiday Hotshot variant. But now, this year in Cars Adventures, I'm going to be using the Holiday Hotshot variant since he's a bit smaller, you know, he's not as bulky with the snow tires and the plow and the lights. I'll probably still use this guy in a few Cars Adventures episodes. I might swap between the two. But, as I already said, so glad to have this guy just in time for the Christmas season. And now I have both of the Holiday McQueens. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Cars Mainline re-release of Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen. I'm really surprised, I and I'm sure many of you guys as well, are very surprised at the re-release of Holiday Cars in the 2021 Cars Mainline. Since the Cars Diecast line has started, the Holiday Cars have always been in their own series and it's cool to get them as a part of the Mainline. Of course for Christmas, we got the Christmas Cruiser Ramon, who I didn't pick up because I already have him, and this McQueen. And now for Easter, we'll be getting the McQueen as the Easter Buggy, who's new, and a re-release of the Easter Buggy himself. I think it's a little unfortunate that we're only seemingly getting two cars per holiday. I definitely would have liked to see more Christmas and Easter cars, but at least we're getting some. Um, so I'm definitely not complaining, and I really hope they do more. Maybe, like, I saw someone on the Cars community suggest uh you could re-release the road trip cars for summer i think that would be great i'd absolutely love to see some halloween cars so many different things um that you can do anyway though taking a closer look at this guy of course you've got your traditional christmas cruiser mcqueen artwork um this is the first time in a long time that the christmas cars have had artwork on their packaging for years they had just this ornament design, and before that they had um, uh, a drawing because they were part of the Storyteller's collection. I think this might be the first time a CGI image of McQueen has been used for a Christmas variant him of him on the packaging, but I'm not sure. I think it might be, though. Of course, we have the very strange metal logo that's on all 2021 cars in the main line and this very nice background. Moving on to the back, you can see as seen in cars... No, this variant of McQueen wasn't. It's unfortunate that um, both McQueen and Ramon were not given their own special packaging. I wonder what it'll say for the Easter buggy cars. It'll probably say Cars 2 since those are Cars 2 variants. But I just wish that these guys had their own style of packaging because they weren't from the first Cars. The rest of these guys were though. Lizzie, Aiken Axler, Sarge, Flo, and Daryl Cartrip. Just like with the backs of the Cars 3 packages, like I mentioned in the Track Damage Cruise review, they are cars that are currently out, which is really nice because, again, although it doesn't give us, the collectors, um, a look at who will be coming up in the line, it allows people to see who they may just be able to pick up in the store at the same time. So getting this McQueen out of the package here, he of course is a Thailand variant, which means that he does have an eye plate. And a lot of the Thailand metallic cars are more reflective than the older ones made in China. So he's got this really shiny, reflective, metallic red paint job. He's got a pretty interesting expression there. It's kind of difficult to see his mouth. 
I don't really know how to describe it. It's almost like a goofy grin, but I don't think that was very intentional. Uh, but definitely a pretty unique expression for a McQueen. Of course, he's basically the same as the Snowplow McQueen, but without all this added stuff. No Snowplow, no lights, um, and of course, no snow tires, which means there's no snow detailing on him, which is a really nice touch uh, with this McQueen. But then again, the Cars characters live in, like, California, so you're not going to see snow there very often. The uh, lightning bolt here is green with a white outline, always sort of reminded me of a Christmas tree. Really nice touch is having this McQueen wear white walls, just like his cruising variant. The Christmas tree, or lightning bolt, on this McQueen is a bit of a darker green. Actually, it's a much darker green, and I'm not sure if that was intentional or if that's part of the Thailand variant. Not too sure about that. Moving on to the back, though, it is completely blank aside from the lights. Um... And these silver parts that, of course, are on the back of all McQueens, which look extra shiny uh, on this variant of him. There is the other side, and there is his base. A very simple McQueen, but a very nice one. Of course, you don't have any of his racing logos, really. The hood is completely blank, which this is one of very few McQueens where there's nothing on the hood. But I think he does look really nice, although I'll still probably prefer the Snowplow McQueen because of all the extra stuff on him. This is another great Christmas McQueen. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and you'll be seeing this guy later on today when I start the new Cars Adventure season. Except, I won't be starting that today, I'm filming this the day before I upload it, and I film and upload Cars Adventures on the same day, it's a whole thing. I'll see you guys next time, bye now.